Today I'm going to be making an espresso martini. Um, I really love espresso, but I'm not the biggest fan of vodka. As you can see here, I really just use this for cooking and that's all I have left. Anthony Bourdain once said that vodka is good by itself, coffee is good by itself. You don't need them both in the same drink. I'm not sure I agree with that. I think there's room for both of these ingredients. As much as I love Tony Bourdain, I can't agree with him on this, even though he was right about most things. And if it was the 1990s and I was at one of Dick Bradzel's bars in London, if Kate Moss and Naomi Campbell invited me out to an after party to enjoy one of their favorite cocktails, there's an offer you can't refuse. I don't think anybody in the world would pass that opportunity up. I certainly wouldn't. And there he is, mixing up a whole string of espresso martinis. This is one cocktail of his that lives on and is more popular than ever. It's a great replacement for the Black Russian, which is just simply Kahlua and vodka. This is so much more complex. It's a lot sexier. It's not as sweet. This is just a really simple cocktail that works really well, before dinner or after dinner. If you don't have an espresso machine, no problem. Just put twice as many scoops of coffee in your machine to the same amount of water, and you'll have a concentrated coffee, which is gonna be perfect in this cocktail. So we have all our ingredients in front of us, and we're going to start with some simple syrup, which is a half ounce, and then a half ounce of Camorra. Now there's a lot of different coffee liqueurs out there. I like Kahlua, but I don't like that they stopped making it in 80 proof because I don't like it too, too sweet. I find it too sweet. I find this perfect, and it costs less, but use whatever you like and a half ounce of this. Comes right up to the top. One ounce of coffee, chilled if you just made a fresh brew. And finally, two ounces of vodka. Let's see if I have enough. Oh yeah. Have just enough with even a splash left over. Now, typically with clear spirits and things that's all alcohol, I usually stir, but in this case, I want a little bit of froth to it because I'm not going to float coffee beans on there, but I am going to float some Aztec chocolate bitters instead. So I want that frothiness in there if we can get it. Let's give it a shot. do it. Nice and cold. I can't hold it anymore. I see some froth in there, so let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that looks fine by itself, but I'm going to put some of these Aztec chocolate bitters on top of there to simulate the coffee beans. All right, let's give it a taste. I'm gonna taste it without the chocolate bitters first. See how we did. That's good, it's good. Wow, if you like your coffee but you want a cocktail, this is the perfect combination, it really is. It is almost chocolatey and I, I didn't even taste the part with the bitters. Let's give it a taste with the bitters. Actually, it's better without the bitters. Next time, I'll just float some coffee beans on top. You get a nice froth there when you shake it. You wouldn't have been able to get that by stirring. You know what? You might even be able to do without the sweetness of the simple syrup. 
Next time I do this, I'm going to try it without it. And if it's too bitter, then you just you could add, always add some simple syrup later and just stir it again. But this is delicious. Perfect before dinner, after dinner, middle of the afternoon, <laughs> hopefully not too early in the morning. In any case, super simple recipe, very easy to make. You don't have to go out and buy Stoli vanilla or any special flavored vodka. This is perfect. Regular vodka, coffee, and some coffee liqueur. You could even skip the simple syrup. Till next time, cheers. Yeah, this would be perfect after dinner. Isn't happy hour anytime?